in this video I'm going to show you how to do a wireless LAN digital simulation for a little transmitter that uses 140 megahertz IF mixed with an LO to give us a carrier frequency of 5.28 gigahertz. Currently we're using a comb of 21 carriers spread across a 20 megahertz bandwidth. Because this option is checked, uh, this will say that the total power of our 21 carriers is minus 20 dBm. And here we see our simulation results. However, we want to do a digital simulation, so we need to add a digital simulation source, a wireless LAN source. Here are the parameters. Let's suppose we want to make some adjacent channel measurement offsets at, uh, measurements at 12.5 megahertz offset in this bandwidth. Here are our wireless LAN modulation or bandwidth options. Uh, we'll pick 20 and our modulation coding scheme. We'll go ahead and use three. Our IF input frequency is 140 megahertz and the input power is minus 20 dBm. We see both RF and digital sources here. The RF sources will be used for the RF simulation, the digital sources for the digital simulation. Both will run when we hit the play button. The digital simulation will run behind the scenes. We also need to specify a path. We need to identify where the input is and the output is for our digital simulation. We're going to go ahead and select digital modulation uh, for our path type. We want to make sure modulation basics has been selected so that the digital simulation engine will run. And here are the parameters used for the spectrum analyzer sync in the digital simulation. We're going to go ahead and hit OK and we'll hit the play button. Once again both simulations are running. Uh, the RF simulation and the digital. An RF model is extracted and passed to the digital simulation engine. The digital simulation engine runs, calculates the data. The data is then imported back into the simulator and actually we can plot these results. And we do so just like any other path at the input or the output. In this case we're going to right click on the output port of our path and we will see RF measurements above this dividing line and digital measurements below. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select a power plot and here we see our carrier at 5.28 gigahertz. We also see our mask. Uh, this mask is added and it can be uh, turned off here if we want, but this mask will track the power level and the frequency of our wireless LAN carrier. Uh, also we have some information here that was gathered during the simulation run. This is common information. Relative constellation errors are provided uh, for many different uh, cases. Also we could plot the data at the input if we wanted to by selecting the input node and right clicking on that. Data is in the data set which can be plotted from there. Thanks.